I, I'm not a big fan of looking over your shoulder at competitors too much, um, but only when in context is important in the decision making process for the customer. So if you're coming up against, you know, the two or three same competitors or however many they are, maybe there's 10, you should do an analysis on all 10, figure out how they position, how they talk, do a mystery shop through all of them, like, you know, phone up, pretend you're a customer and just see what happens, mm-hmm. what experience you get. And, and that is uh, really important because then that shows you where the potential gaps in the market are. Um, so there's nothing worse than a positioning strategy that you do and then you send it to market and it's the same as a competitor you, you haven't researched, right? So really important to, to, to do that analysis when you're doing positioning um, because otherwise it's just it's a mute point. So um, and, and when you do the analysis, sometimes um, you can figure out, oh, which space are they not playing in? And uh, Kimberly A. Whitlow, I did an interview with her. She's kind of like a, an academic in, in the US uh, who, who has a book about positioning and uh, we talked to her about that. And um, she used the analogy of battleships. So you know, we're playing the game battleships, like Mm -hmm. which space are the enemy ships in and where is the clear space that you can put your ship uh, to survive? You know what I mean? And Mm -hmm. I think it's a really interesting way of looking at it. Um, And yeah, yeah, sometimes that analysis will pull up um, some interesting um, uncompetitive space that you could uh, move into. 